So while perusing the internet this morning, I came across something rather interesting. Major League Baseball in 2025 is going to play a regular season game at Bristol Motor Speedway. That is something I didn't have on my bingo card for this year or next year. So I'm a big baseball fan. As you can tell, I'm a St. Louis Cardinals fan. Um, been a baseball fan all my life. I've seen, you know, baseball the last few years has been trying more and more to expand its reach, expand its fan base. And, and I'm glad to see that they're trying different things, trying new things. I like these specialty events. My belief, my feeling is baseball should be playing games every year at Field of Dreams in Dyersville, Iowa. And Williamsport, PA, in conjunction with the Little League World Series. Um, this past season, down at Birmingham at Rickwood Field, I think they should be playing a game there every year. Uh, if, if not even a series at these locations. Uh, they should be doing a Hall of Fame game at Doubleday Field in Cooperstown. These are things to expand the reach of baseball, to bring it to more people. Now, this one at Bristol Motor Speedway, um, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> so here we have the athletic, uh, Jordan Bianchi and Evan Drillich uh, put this article out there. Braves Reds to play game next season at Bristol Motor Speedway for sources. Bristol Motor Speedway, one of NASCAR's most iconic tracks, will host a regular season MLB game between the Atlanta Braves and Cincinnati Reds in 2025. Multiple sources briefed on the plans told The Athletic on Tuesday. MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred and Speedway Motorsports CEO Marcus Smith, whose family has long owned and operated the, Brist the Bristol track, are set to make an announcement at the track in Tennessee on Friday. MLB declined comment. Now, there have been other events besides the NASCAR races, which are twice a year at Bristol Motor Speedway. Back in 2016, we had the battle at Bristol between Tennessee and Virginia Tech. Give me an idea. This is what it looked like. Now, I can see fitting the football stadium within the speedway, within the track. What I... I'm trying to wrap my head around is fitting. How do you fit a baseball field inside there? I mean, you've got buildings in the way of what would be the natural places where you would put home plate and have the backstop. You have buildings in play here. You have buildings in play here. So you'd have to have some sort of artificial backstop here, in, in, in my opinion, either on either end. And then you've got the large scoreboard hanging over the center of the track. So you can't really, unless, I mean, they could take the scoreboard down or they could move it to where if you, if you did that, you could probably put the field of play somewhere out here in the middle. But then you have, I don't know, a short right field fence with the high wall, a short left field fence with the high wall, depending on your configuration. Do you put home plate like over here in this area or this area or this, you know, one of the four corners and play with the baselines this way? Again, you'd have to have a, a like a green monster type wall in left field. Or if you did it in this direction, a green monster type wall in right field. So this is this is interesting. Now, what they're trying to do here is they're trying to set an attendance record. Is my belief. Hosting a sold-out Major League Baseball game at Bristol Motor Speedway would likely set an attendance record for the sport. According to the National Baseball Hall of Fame, the largest crowd for an MLB game belongs to a 2008 exhibition match between the Red Sox and the Dodgers at Los Angeles Coliseum. 
The Red Sox won that game in front of an officially announced crowd of 115,300 people, the only time the Hall says a baseball crowd has provably exceeded 100,000. Well, Bristol, they could definitely hit that 100,000 mark plus. Um, the, the problem I, I'm seeing here is sight lines. I mean, no matter which corner you decide to put home plate in, the sight lines here, 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 and here are going to be terrible. Not only that, but if you have to put up a, a Green Monster style wall, you're blocking seats wherever behind that wall. I mean, yeah, they could put more bleachers in, more seating in, I guess. Um, secondly, clubhouse. I mean, you do have the tunnel to get into the track here. So do you build a temporary clubhouse out here in this area? Possibly. Now, I, I do understand the logistics of it from what I've surmised. The reason why you chose, they chose Cincinnati and Atlanta is both cities are approximately five hours away from Bristol. Bristol sits dead center. So it's a good thing logistically. I mean, it's kind of like what they did um, with the first Field of Dreams game being the, the Cubs and the White Sox, how logistically it makes sense. Not, not only logistically, but from a historical perspective. So, yeah, I mean, I have seen the dirt races at Bristol on TV where they brought in tons and tons of dirt to cover the, the concrete and run, and run dirt races there for the NASCAR truck series as well as the, uh, the cup cars. So what do you guys think about this? I mean, I think it's I think it's cool. I think it's a novelty. I just don't know how they're going to pull it off. It's going to take months of planning. It's going to take months of work to turn this infield into a baseball field. So comment down below. Share your thoughts. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Why are you? Please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys. Later.